with how last episode ended, I have no idea what to expect from now on. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with 9 and 10 of Mushoku Tensei. This episode is called A Chance Encounter. Last episode was Turning Point 1, and typical day, typical training, typical getting further as, as, as necessary as needed. We were going to show them our Cumulo Nimbus um, spell, which is Rudius's most powerful spell after we got our staff, which I was super eager to see that because the staff amplifies your power, your magic by a lot. So I was super excited. But then this floating planet that is just now coming to a head was noticed by Dragon Wilderness Man, was noticed by Demon Loli Girl, was noticed by, I think his name was Perugius. I, I didn't write his name down. I did write down Al Manfi, the gentleman he sent to go deal with it and to slay any suspected people, and in which he got into an altercation with Ghislaine. And then some blue, a blue solar beam supposedly killed everyone. So no idea what happened. <laughs> I'm very curious and I have to find out. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description like always for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this Mushoku Tensei Season 1, Episodes 9 and 10. The first one is called The Chance Encounter. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. This is our main character. Naked. Did he die? Are we now in heaven? What the hell's... You look like a mannequin at a retail store. The man god. I'm on your side. Let me give you some advice. I like the way they designed the god. I get where he's coming from, though. But I like how the god is devoid of all features. You really can't even see him at all. He's, like, blurry, you know? I really like that. Six-sided world? So he wasn't the one who made him reincarnate. He's just watching over him. Dragon god, and he's man god. You'll die. Hmm. What do you mean the demon? In a massive mana disaster and got transported. He's like, alright, fine. Give me the advice. Let's hear it. Okay, a man. Rely on that man. Rely on him and help him. That's the advice you're giving us. We wake up under a starry night sky. Yeah, where is Ghislaine? Oh, it's a superd. This is the man we'd we'd wake up next to. This is the demon continent after all. And he's a superd who are supposedly the worst most evil creatures in this world but i feel like it's a little deeper than that because they built them up as such and then we got this whole advice from man god and he didn't immediately kill them or eat them or anything of that sort you know so far it looked like he has treated them and gave them warmth with a fire i don't understand your question you two fell from the sky So Ghislaine is out there missing somewhere, hmm. What's his name? Ruji Ruijerd? How do you say that name? God damn it. Bigoya, northeast of the demon continent. 
Okay. Much appreciated. Thank you, sir. I wonder why. I feel like he already has some personal investment in this. Because I feel like normal superds wouldn't do this. The superd tribe's reputation. So he's doing it for his people. That's what I was going to say. They already fear you immensely on the mainland. And I mean, look at Eris's reaction when she wakes up. Way to make a bad first impression, Eris. She thinks they are on the brink of death right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Good, good. It must be, after seeing reactions like that your entire life or anytime you run into a human, it must be nice seeing a reaction like, uh, like Rudy. <laughs> he even added her stutter. B -b 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 Boreas. Ruijerd Superdia. Ruijerd Superdia. <laughs> That's what most <laughs> parents say to their children. <laughs> I won't lie though. Being that's hilarious that it took her just a little bit of like, oh, mom was bullshitting the whole time. These fairy tales are fake as fuck. But it'd be like in my world if I could somehow be friends with like a demon or a devil, you know, all werewolf, whatever, all these fairy tales that the kids get told, you know, when they're children, I'd be like, hey, hey down, you know, that'd be cool. As long as he's a cool guy, like actually Rui Jerd, you know, so far, I'd be down. This is quite the adventurous music. The demon continent is very expansive and very barren, it looks like. She looks kind of depressing, I can't lie. I'm curious what kind of monsters and adversaries we'll run into, you know? Oh. My man just killed a fucking king turtle? What is that? The eye in my- it's an eye! I thought it was more like a gem or a crystal. There it is, a village. Oh, the villages are made out of like turtle shells. Hmm. Is that Senku? That's the voice actor of Senku, Rowan. I mean, yeah, Roxy is clutch. Roxy, a demon. Wait, she has the same color hair as them. Roxy really does. She might actually low key be related. It might be the daughter of this family. Is my sister? My daughter's name. Rowan's her dad. This is Roxy's hometown. Hell yeah. I know, I really like how they use like the large tortoise, tortoise shells as their homes, their huts. Forty-four, she's old. Yeah, she's tutoring a prince right now, making good money. Also getting kind of groped, but hey, she's she's doing good. No, she is beat. It's an exhausting journey all the way over here. Damn, that is a thick pipe. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. My man Ruby Jurd is a real one, but damn. He's gonna, okay. Since you saved that one, 10 years, and we saved another kid, who was it? It's a difficult task to accomplish. Very much so. Social reform is the hardest thing. Deep, so, oh man, that's horrible. Mm, you could tell he's upset just based off how they animated him. That was Laplace's scheme, wow. Our spears are our souls. 
かうことはできないという者も,もいたれもその変化に気づかなかったやがて俺たちは目に見えるものすべて妻を殺し兄弟を殺し Yeah, l a p l a s is a son of a bitch So, the Laplace really fucked the entire Super Tribe. The spear is the soul of my son. Wow. And the spear is their soul. It's like super important to them, you know? As a leader of our warriors. Oh, my respect and admiration for Ruijer just went up at least tenfold. You know, old, weathered, grizzled men like that are just. Uh, I love those characters like Logan, Wolverine. People who have gone through the ringer, you know. Just, uh, and that's what the, the god said man, god. Rely on him and help him. A hundred and two this year. Let me just say, you look great for your age. <laughs> oh my well i mean that's a great present thank you heck yeah look at our squad now a i r i s got her new dope ass sword we got our staff we got rui jerd going on the demon continent oh this is not the story i was expecting at all all right Here we go on to episode 10. This one's called The Value of a Life and a First Job. Ooh, ooh. I've never seen one just tear into a wolf like that, a wolf's head. We got a little. We got a border patrol. We got, we're crossing the border over here. That dead end's been sighted. That is a good question. What is dead end? What? Oh, so the thing that they're looking for is you. If you meet him, you die. Dead end. What are we gonna dye his hair blue? What are we gonna cover the crystal on his head? What are we gonna do? We came from Migurd Village? Yeah, and we know there our hair is all blue. Damn, this city looks crazy. I love the differences in architecture and landscaping compared to the demon continent with our main continent. Like, it's vastly different. And I really like that. The world building is crazy. Look at this. This looks like a place I would see in a JRPG. Like, it literally looks like, I forget what the, what's his name? Who from fucking Octopath Traveler? Looks like he was born in this same exact village. No matter what city it is, you have a, 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 a marketplace, a bazaar, uh, children, you know, shops, every, you know, it's like, I love it. Hey, new, new fit. Like, look at this city. Oh my God, w i t h that in the middle? That looks dope. Adventurers Guild? Wait, so. Okay, we're gonna head to the Adventurers Guild and do our first job? With his blue old hair. He's just shocked that no one's freaking out about him. This reminds me of an Adventurers Guild. Anytime I see a guild, though, I w a n t to go back to Don Mashi and just finish that show. Look at his outfit. <laughs> He's trying to make an impression. He's like, bro, you're not an Isekai protagonist. Oh, wait, yeah, he is. <laughs> They're gonna bust out laughing because he doesn't have the green hair, or what? They don't believe him? No,、oh, so that was just a test to see if people would believe that. Okay, they really think you have to have green hair. And she has three tits. Up to one rank above your own. That makes sense. You can't go too crazy. But we're F rank right now. Our party's name is Dead End. And we're officially adventurers, and she has three tits. That's crazy. <laughs> I 
slow down there a little bit. Which means they fully believe that that is progress, yeah. I gave him Roxy's necklace. Interesting. Wow, that's really pretty. All the light like coming through, like all the holes in the stone walls. What is going on? Yeah, that looks gorgeous. We gotta do something. We gotta start ranking up. Get some C, B rank missions. Instead of F and E. Hello, God. Are we just gonna be having conversations with him like he's All Might? Sate, sate, sate. Alright, what's your next piece of advice? Your last one was actually pretty good, so I'll, I'll start trusting you a little bit. He's so eccentric. Accept that job to find a lost kitten? Accept that job and your worries will be at an end. I wonder how. That's my point. But he's got to have some thought behind that. So... Oh yeah, with Rui Jird and you two, I have utmost faith you guys will make it. Now, about what kind of crazy adventures we'll have along the way, that's a different story. I wonder what he sees, like I want to know, the, I want a POV shot out of his third eye. That sounds like a lot of dangerous creatures in that cave. Is that the kitty we're supposed to find? Yeah, that's a panther. I guess that does make sense. Good magic. And seal them in the ground. Nice! We can seal them up relatively quick. He was not expecting that. Oh, Rui Jird had to cut off his head for that, yeah. You don't injure Rudy. Did want to interrogate the him though and talk to him alive. But that is his head gone. That's why this episode's called The Value of a Life and the First Job. Eris is like, eh. It becomes a morally gray area when it comes to that, you know? Like, theoretically, he's evil. Let's stop his evilness, but that makes you evil. And, you know, like, you know, it's a very, like I said, gray area. This is tough. This is a tough situ situation. He just has Laplace so stuck in his mind that he refuses to let any villainous person, you know, with, with malice and ill intent go, you know? <laughs> I love 
She's super angry and super aggressive. You know, we can work on that a little bit, but I love her faith and her support of Rudy. Like, it's taken years for her to build this, but it's so strong and solid because of that. Mm. I am excited for us to show up horse man show him how strong we really are he's been oh these are these are interesting these are interesting episodes so I'm super curious about the overall reason as to why he was reincarnated you know especially when the person who puts us in this parallel world isn't the one who did it like the human god who we've been talking to I think that's what he said his name was human god or man god something like that who's been giving us advice, who's been super funny, outgoing, eccentric, said that in terms of reincarnating us, the wicked dragon god, that seems pretty crazy. That seems more of a his type of thing, so I'm very curious about that. But he's brought us back there twice to talk to us, so I'm curious about his range of powers, what he can and cannot do, and all of the above. But running into Ruji, uh, Rijard and having a superb be our party member and damn near savior because he's going to be the one escorting us back to the homeland is super crazy and ironic especially with how like everyone's been saying the superd's reputation is so just evil but i like how rudy has a special spot in his heart for his story and wants to help him become a better person and have a better reputation be able to live in normal society which his story about laplace getting over on them with the spears and finessing them was really well done it makes sense that the spears, you know, that's like their livelihood, their soul, and they wouldn't normally trust someone else, especially with one they got, but he unified all of the demon races, and then it's a wrap from there. We also got to see Migurd, uh, Roxy's parents, and uh, the tribe, which was super dope. I need to look up right now if that is the voice actor for Senku. So, yes, not only is he Senku Ishigami, who I recognized Ish, uh, instantly, but he's also Natsuki Subaru from ReZero. So, you know, small anime world. I love hearing anime voice actors and, you know, the range and the amount of work that they've done. Also, he's Gloxinia from Seven Deadly Sins. I didn't know that either, but super great range. I, I really like Roxy's family. I really like the parents and how, you know, young they look and they're just super nice. But I love the us trying to not have a Rejured kill anymore. You know, we got to have that wholesomeness. Like, I'm just excited where this is going to go, honestly. Like, us landing on the demon continent, partying, partying with a superd, and joining an adventurer's guild to earn money and eventually come our way home. Meanwhile, we have the dragon dude and demon lowly going to investigate Almanfi and the rest of the floating planet like this is just nothing is what i've expected the show to turn out to so it's pretty shocking pretty crazy and i'm thoroughly enjoying it if you guys are as well please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to check out that patreon for early access and full length in the description like always it's a great time don't forget to uh subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel don't forget to drink some water be safe out there tell somebody you love them have a great day dapper squad peace